Now this is something that I've been asked or seen suggested many times when it comes to talking about game types or new game types coming into the Splatoon series. And a lot of people tend to ask, why isn't Team Deathmatch in Splatoon in general? We got a new game coming out, Splatoon 3. We are in a four to six month period before this game comes out. Just recently showed off that Salmon Run is coming back into the game. One of the newest modes in the Splatoon series. And it's making me think that what if we were to have some other modes that aren't the ones that we already know of, such as Splat Zones, Tower Control, Rainmaker Clam Blitz, Salmon Run, and of course Turf War. We have all of this, but why isn't Team Deathmatch included in this shooter? And the answer is actually very, very simple. The thing is about Splatoon in general is that this game cannot operate or be played well without objective purpose. What I mean by that is that there needs to be something on the map to encourage the player to move. We can take an example out of all the modes that we have. Turf War, you need to move around the entire map to paint as much area as the map in order to win the game. Splat Zones. There's a specific part of the map which is in the very middle that you have to paint and hold for the longest point of time. This encourages both teams to constantly fight against each other in order to capture the zone. Tower Control and Rainmaker are pretty much both the same thing. There's an objective that you have to stand on or pick up and move closer to the enemy's side. They are both basically a tug of war but in reverse. Imagine that you're holding a rope but you're pushing it towards the team instead of pulling it towards you. And of course Clam Blitz, you have a bunch of clams scattered around the map where you have to pick up, make a football and toss it into the opponent's basket, tossing a bunch of other little clams into there, which these clams can only be gathered if you're moving all around the map. Now, when you put all of these game types in perspective and then you think of Team Deathmatch, you have to think about what the objective of Team Deathmatch is get the most kills. Realistically, if you really want to be optimal, especially with how Splatoon's current spawning system is, all you need to do is get one kill and tell every single one of your teammates to jump back to spawn. You've basically won the game. The spawn barrier cannot be broken or shot through by an opponent. All you need to do is just wait for the time to run out. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why Team Deathmatch cannot even make an appearance in Splatoon in general. Another big reason is that the sheer amount of camping and sharking that will happen in Team Deathmatch. Let's say people wouldn't be wusses about it and every player on the map actually stays on the map. The thing I'll be w very worried about of what I could see happening is that we're gonna find a lot of players that heavily paint a section of the map and then just wait. Wait until somebody passes by. Sharking in general will be incredibly strong. If someone decides to do that for a whole minute, they pretty much can because there's nothing on the map that's encouraging them to move around the map because the objective could just come to them every single time which that being the other team and just on that I think it'll be very boring in that case because we're playing team deathmatch when people don't even want to fight each other or pursue and go after each other and even if you do it'd be the most silliest thing to do because you'll be exposing yourself to the other team so that they can obtain a frag why not just play safe you'll always win that way and I know some people are going to be like, well, I'm going to be that guy and he's, I'm always going to go fight. But even then, you're pretty much doing a disservice to your team. I just know that there's going to be people like that if Team Deathmatch was a thing. It'd be a silly way to play anyway. Especially with how every single map is in this game. There are just far too many places that you can hide and then just secure an easy kill. Where it's just going to be a huge shark slash camping fest. Which I don't think many people will actually enjoy. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Turf War, honestly, is the closest we are ever going to get when it comes to just team deathmatch stuff. Even though kills do not matter, you practically still have some reason to move around the entire map. Instead of it just being like a section or a specific object that's on the map that you have to deal with. Like in Turf War, you can move around the entire map and it doesn't really matter where you move because you're still doing something that's contributing to the objective. And along the way, you can pick up some frags if you want, which most of us do when we do play Turf War. We kind of just frag around, paint the map and then just chill. Now, saying all this, at least in Splatoon, current state, I believe Team Deathmatch could not work. But what if we were to spin it to make it work and allow some sort of Team Deathmatch minigame or something like that? Now, first things first, there needs to be as little hiding spots as possible. So I feel like what we would need to do is to make specific Team Deathmatch maps that are pretty much made for it. I feel like these maps need to be very small. 
If we're to put it into context of how Splatoon 2's maps are, let's just say maps that are made for Team Deathmatch are the middle sections of Splatoon 2 maps that we already know of. So let's say Sturgeon Shipyard. Basically, you have this area and only this area that you'll be able to play in. Another example, Walleye Warehouse, this middle section, you can only play in this middle section. I feel like if maps were closed off like this, then maybe it could work because you're always pretty close to the enemy and there's also a limited amount of hiding spots. Speaking of hiding spots, I feel like there needs to be some sort of thing that evaporates the ink that you place down on the floor. I feel like it needs to be a very frequent thing to prevent people from just hiding in one place all the time. Let's just say that every 7 to 10 seconds, the ink that you place down will evaporate. I feel like it'll be something that'll be necessary just so that people will continue to move around the map very frequently. I know it's a small map, but even then, I feel like a lot of people would probably complain especially if they're getting camped out every single time they get fragged. Lastly, how spawning would work. Now in Splatoon 2, it definitely just wouldn't have worked, especially if it had the spawning that we have now. But Splatoon 3, it gets me thinking. It probably could because of how the new spawning actually works. You can jump pretty much in any area of the map that you choose and since it's a very small map i feel like there's a large range of places that you can jump into i also feel like in order for all this to work there probably can't be four players i think a mode like this especially on a smaller map they'll probably need to be like a maximum of three on each team this is just so it doesn't over accommodate the map and make it too cramped with just too much going on so i feel like having just three players against three would actually probably be better and lastly i just wanted to add two when it comes to respawning over and over again where maybe it's kind of like controlled respawning let's say the entire enemy team is wiped it enables everyone else to respawn back again think about it like search and destroy where you have your two other teammates and if you get a, a full entire wipe the map is completely reset everybody jumps back onto their coffee machine and then everyone jumps back into the game i feel like honestly if it gets to that point we're probably not even really playing team deathmatch anymore it's probably more like arena more than anything because i could see that as each wipe that you get on the other team equals one point and basically you have to win the most amount of rounds out of maybe like i don't know seven or ten to be declared the winner overall that's not even really team deathmatch but it's i guess a variant of it where the objective is to basically take out the other team that actually could be something that could work and honestly i feel like that could be fun when i think about it like this it really could be like how arena shooters are you jump in with maybe no sub or special because i personally feel like if you drop in with already having subs and specials and all that type of stuff it could be a little broken so i think that being able to pick up subs and specials like you do in the like the Opta expansion or the just a general story mode of Splatoon. I feel like that could be quite fun because it'll be something that can only be used once or for let's say if it's a sub maybe it can only be used for like 10 seconds or 7 seconds where you're actually able to use the sub. Generally I feel like that could work. Now while making this video I've been kind of just like brainstorming a bunch of ideas as I'm making it especially with the sub and special weapon pickups that are scattered around the map. But I'm interested to know what you guys think. What do you guys think of my ideas of having some sort of team deathmatch in the game? Do you agree with my theory of why team deathmatch in this type point of time just does not work for Splatoon in general? Could there be an arena mode that works the same way as i've stated do you guys have any ideas of how team deathmatch could work let me know in the comment section below it'd be very cool to see a different sort of game type coming into splatoon 3 instead of the ones that we have right now so i'm really looking forward to the game coming out and i'm hoping to see something different coming into the next game with all that being said guys i hope you enjoyed this video please if you did please like for comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already follow me on twitter and twitch both in the description below do it for both of you for being generous hit the bell notification button next to the description button if you guys would like to be notified for whenever i upload a video consider joining my public discord server where you can go ahead and talk to myself my dude society community it's also the greatest place on earth to be notified whenever i go live for a twitch stream all that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video and i shall see you guys in a future video <sighs> okay <laughs> we're fine we're fine we're fine <laughs> everything's okay